Okay, I have a 7000 EXL generator from Generac and just made the conversion over to propane. Now, I kept it pretty uh, to where I, if I had to go and remove things, I could. And these are some industrial strength uh, wire ties. Uh, assembled this as the 12 foot N like NPS, can I say? And I'm just running it off a 20 pound propane cylinder at the moment, just for test purposes. I do intend on getting a 100 pound or uh, even toying with the idea of getting a parallel kit for each of these. But I did went to Lowe's and bought this today so I can see how much is in the tank. Uh, this is the part of the regular that they give you and I do have a quick disconnect although I'm thinking I might take that off because I don't think I'm going to really need it need it if I have this little piece right here. But uh, I've just been load testing it here for the past couple minutes and uh, it actually runs much smoother on propane and what I've done here is um, tried to balance the load between the two windings so this is your 30 amp um, 120 volt and you have your duplex outlet here now this right here um, I have the neutral floating for when I connect to a transfer switch so what I did was I just made a jumper here this is just bonding the neutral to ground so I don't get shocked um, but what we got here um, this 30 amp goes to this double uh, to a double duplex outlet and I have here today two vacuum cleaners each pulls about 12 amps a piece uh, I got a space heater 1500 watt now at high it gets about 12 amps and low is like 5 amps medium is like 7 amps so I'm not going to be able to fully load this 20 amp duplex outlet all the way so I'll probably be pulling about 16 amps when I have the uh, one of the vacuum cleaners running at full blast and then put the space here at about 5 amps that should uh, get to the limit of what the uh, 120 breaker should um, the 120 volt outlet should have here it's set it's protected by a 20 amp um, circuit breaker there so I'm gonna give it a shot here and I do have my uh, kilowatt meter so and I've just been running this for the past few minutes it is actually much smoother on propane I don't think it's any quieter but um, I do think that it can handle the load no problem. Now, there is power loss when you run on propane, but since this is an overhead valve, it's got pretty high compression. Uh, I don't really see much of a difference. I'm loading about the max is 58 amps at 120 volts. Uh, with all the loads I have here, I'm loading it up to probably about 48, 50 amps. So you'll see it load up, and I'll show you the frequency meter right now unloaded it's about 63 so what we're gonna do here is turn on the gas now it's got one of those valves where it'll click once it's fully uh, gassed up now here push this a little bit good chokes off
It'll start, but it's probably not going to run the greatest until you adjust it to a point where you're not going to overfeed the engine and it's going to choke itself out. Once you get it running smoothly at the highest RPM setting with the load block there, that's when you got to add a little bit of load to it and make sure it doesn't start leaning out. But as you can hear, it's running very smooth even at a low idle. Now if I add, turn everything back on, Goes right back up, no problem. There you go, guys. Try fuel. Thanks, guys.